Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. If the reverse stock split is approved by shareholders following a meeting and vote, this means that if AMC is trading around $3 or $4 per share during the split, the stock price will increase to $30 or $40 per share. This is the advantage, correct? What is the disadvantage of it? The disadvantage here is that if you had 100 shares prior to the stock split, you would be left with 10 shares. If you have 1,000 shares, you will have 100 shares remaining, and this undoubtedly discourages many individuals. This will increase the price of the stock, but will have little effect on what you actually possess. This is merely superficial, right? The primary issue, which I think many people are already concerned about, is that lowering the actual flow will likely reduce the number of synthetic shares and the exposure to synthetic shares, since if you have a small flow with the same value, you don't need to seek for additional shares to find. In addition, a typical red indicator is that corporations that conduct reverse stock splits are typically in danger. This is not a typical action for a company like AMC, which is definitely exiting a period of poor performance, especially given that the most recent earnings report suggests the company is performing better and better each quarter. This is the situation since Alan Marin is attempting to attract more institutional investors to his company. Everything points to the fact that ADM is attempting to obtain further funds. What is the reason? Nobody knows. Cash is in the bank for AMP. AMP has extra funds for side investments and paying off debt, paying off a portion of the loan even early, thereby cutting interest payments and saving a substantial amount of money. But I gave you a basic explanation over here. Like if you were a child, right? If you had 100 before to the actual separation, and if the split is approved, your share count will be lowered, but their value will remain the same because AMC stock price would increase. If the share price is $3 when the split occurs, AMC share price will skyrocket to $30. Mind-blowing because when other American apes were issued, we witnessed an entirely different scenario and produced its prices. However, the portfolio's worth remained constant, at least until the 8 plus 80%, right? Therefore, the expectation is that you will have the same value but less shares if the split is approved by a vote. You may or may not have noticed this tweet, but this clear bot account, John Legg, tweeted that gift cards will not be sufficient to preserve AMC. He stated that he will continue short-selling the stock. Clearly, this account belonging to John Legg is a bot. He has no follows and one following, and he joined in October 2022. However, if we examine the account he is following, it appears he is sitting out securities. John Legg is obviously highly anti-AMC, as he has commented on a lot of AMC-related blogs stating that he's shorting the company and he is so happy to have gotten out early. However, it appears that John Legg is a Citadel-created bot designed to promote FUD and urge you to sell your shares. This is why Stephanie is so insistent that everyone should listen to this. According to her, Kramer concedes that he cannot tell the truth about Citadel and Ken Griffin. Is this beneficial or harmful to the squeeze? How does this affect the shorts? Unfortunately, gentlemen, this takes a much deeper comprehension of how things will truly function. It is extremely crucial to FMC how and what the stock price will be if the real split is approved. It is also crucial to determine how many shares will be currently shorted and how many shares will be on loan at the time of the actual stock split. It is so simple to say if something is excellent or awful. I believe it will take some time to determine the stock's actual performance following the current rebalance. It isn't. No longer is it 20% or 24% off. But, you know, it's questionable. It was not something that anyone anticipated. People anticipated releasing more shares, just as they anticipated voting on a conversion into AMC. But they did not anticipate the stock split. So it is too soon to judge if this is good or negative. The current stock price shows that it is not a suitable investment. However, we are all aware that people, institutions, and Wall Street have a tendency to overreact at times. Men, please share your ideas in the comment area. Subscribe to the channel if you appreciate this video and return for more.